May I come in, sir? Please. Aye. Your good name, uh, gentlemen. Sorry. It's not my, my name, name is Mohammad Nazif Atif. Huh? Mohammad Nazif Atif. Yes, please come. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Good morning, sir. 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 Good Drilling Technical Reserve Engineer, playing football, Joker P, TSA Olympiad, Maths Olympiad, and uh, Student Placement. Okay, Olympiad. speak something about you. Mm, yeah. Uh, sir, I am Mohammed Nazir Fatif. I am from Bhubaneswar, Odisha. Mm. I did my schooling from DAV Public School United, Bhubaneswar. Mm. Mm. Uh, after that, uh, I did my graduation from University of Petroleum and Energy Studies in Petroleum Engineering. Mm. And uh, ever since then, I have been preparing for civil services. Mm -hmm. You passed in 2018. Yes, sir. You passed yes, sir. in 2018. Yes, sir. And then you didn't to didn't want to go into a job, uh, sir. I so decided to opt out of placements after a certain period. Uh, initially, I was planning to take up placements, but then I decided but to you take it. <coughs> Very lucrative subject. Yes, sir. And then you are not going for a job. <laughs> sir, uh, initially there were... Very specific engineering that is very... Yes. Rarely people used to yes, get it. Yes, sir. But still you don't want to quit that and come up to... Sir, initially I had got a job uh, which was offered uh, when I was the student placement representative over there. Mm -hmm. But uh, I thought it would be better off if... Uh, Achai, because presently you are faculty in some coaching center. Sir, I was. I did uh, teach for a very short period. A, a course was given to me, so I did that for three, four months. Mm. What is the organization? Sir, it's Ezogian Bhumneshu. Ezogian Bhumneshu. Yes. Okay. Now, what's your hobbies? Sir, I like to write uh, poetry and uh, motivation quotes. Mm. I like to play football. Uh, sometimes... Uh, a poem? Yes. Uh, what's, sorry, sir. Oh, uh, sir, next po po uh, po po Poem? Poem? Is it uh, Hindi or English or Rodia? Sir, English. Uh, the good, all the better, so that we can understand. Can, yes, you, I can, can you recite a stanza, small stanza? Sir, uh, I have got it in my phone, if you could allow me. Oh, yeah. Sure. Oh. Great. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Can you recollect? Yes, so it's actually a pretty long one. It's like 25. Yeah, we need one. Yeah, 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 few, few lines only. Yes, sir. It's about because we are not sure whether in the actual board they will permit this or not. By that time, I'll make sure I'll. Okay, uh, okay, okay. <laughs> Fine. Mm. Sir, it's, uh, it's this thing. Mm. Uh, I wrote this. Uh, it's okay to give up every day. Mm. It's okay to be at the heart of a raging battle mm. and simply lay down the arms and give up the fight. Mm. It's okay to feel that life has stopped altogether. Mm. It's okay to go back ev home every day mm. with the familiar feeling of nothing telling having been achieved. Mm. It's okay to run away from the face of every new task, mm. every existing challenge. Mm. It's okay to be not taking no for an answer. Mm. It's okay to be burning with the exasperation of losing despite giving it your all, mm. despite being more than deserving. Mm. It's okay to be left embroiled in petulance mm. when people leave never to look back. Mm. It's okay to take pride on whatever help you could be of. Mm. It's okay to be rem remonstrant towards accepting yourself not good enough. Mm. It's okay to be not okay. Okay, very good. <coughs> mm. Good. Thank you. So, it's that's... Kind uh, of... Uh, kind of... Uh, so, this uh, University of Petroleum and all these things, engineering. So, um, sorry, Mohammed. I, I'll call you Mohammed. Mohammed. Uh, on the environmental front, which yes. is a very raging thing, yes, sir. and it's a crisis, it's an existential crisis. I'll put it that way, being a layman. Okay. Uh, in terms of energy? Uh, no, no, uh, not uh, generally, yes. generally. Okay. So, where, where do we stand in, in combating climate crisis, yes. in achieving the milestones reached in various accords, Paris Accord and all those things. Yes, sir. Are we really uh, moving forward or it's all on paper? Sir, uh, to be very honest, it's mm. actually a bit of both. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, uh, we uh, made a plan mm. uh, in terms of the recent announcement of uh, the Panchamrit. Mm. Uh, for example, the plan was net uh, energy neutral, carbon neutrality by 2017. Mm. But then we are well aware of the fact that uh, irrespective of whatever the circumstances, our dependence upon coal mm. as the primary source of energy will still continue till at least 2040. Mm -hmm. So even if we are mm. doing it uh, on paper in terms of you know plans, 
mm-hmm. of uh, being energy neutral mm-hmm. being uh, our uh, you know environmental footprint should come down mm-hmm. uh, we still have to uh, we still are uh, this, the steps still need okay uh, let me put it this way okay forgetting that because i want to hear something positive what are the positives that you will tell us uh, sir to start with uh, mm-hmm. in 2018 we came up with a national biofuel policy mm-hmm. Uh, which was about blending ethanol and biodiesel with uh, mm. petrol and diesel respectively mm. and uh, uh, and then in uh, right now there is mm. bharat petroleum which is setting up a 2g ethanol refinery in bargad district odisha mm. on the solar front i thought we had made some strides yes sir uh-huh. yes uh, mm. sir uh, our solar capacity has increased mm. uh, if i am not wrong it's uh, mm. right now uh, our overall renewable capacity is nearing 40% over to, uh, of our total energy excellent excellent production sir yes. okay do we have any oil drilling processes going on along the east coast of india uh, sir in the east coast of india i am afraid i cannot recall right now i think there is no oil there have been exploration in godavari delta yes sir in godavari delta the explorations have been taking place uh, for natural gas and uh, there is a very po- uh, popular uh, uh, there is natural gas block which is the kgd6 krishna godavari 06 yes. from where natural gas has been coming up apart from that uh, there have been shale gas reserves that have been discovered uh, in the uh, krishna godavari delta and and, and kaveri what about mahanadi delta so mahanadi delta has has it's been found out to have a lot of uh, proven reserves of uh, mostly natural gas i i, I believe at the moment when this is operating sir uh, uh, at the moment the exploration is going on uh, we haven't decided uh, ah, start the process going on yes sir where are the drilling points i am afraid sir i cannot <laughs> that's near nimapada okay it's going on go open nimapada all right uh, for your information okay <coughs> so your geography is an obstacle no? yes sir hmm? uh, how do you look geographical vulnerability situation for orissa being located in the tropical zone what kind of vulnerability situations that you are looking at sir at the most uh, fundamental pers- uh, perspective we always have our vulnerability to cyclones mm. and now uh, we already know that owing to climate change the extremity of uh, the cyclones and other extreme weather events the frequency will be increasing in the near future okay. uh, apart from that uh, the monsoonal patterns have been uh, you know uh, changing they they not uh, there does not been consistency in the monsoonal pattern Uh, so uh, based on that our plans uh, in on the cyclone on facing the cyclone thing uh, our scenario has been very well uh, mm-hmm. we have been combating cyclones very well and for agriculture we have been planning other uh, initiatives uh, to deal with uh, food insecurity owing to you know the changes in monsoon monsoonal patterns so what kind of initiatives are being taken to sir to for security towards for security the most uh, primary step at the broadest level is climate smart agriculture which tries to intermix productivity with the local capacity so uh, a number of steps had been taken uh, that involves training the farmers based on the kind of soil they'd be working in and uh, planning the kind of crops they would be growing there accordingly giving a background to the soil status soil status and yes, according yes. to the soil we we'll go over to yes sir agriculture okay can you distinguish between democracy and dictatorship <coughs> sorry democracy and dictatorship sir dictatorship is more about the uh, uh, it's more uh, unicentric the power center remains singular hmm. on the other hand democracy the power flows from the people what is the minimum um, uh, this thing about democracy in one sentence tell me this is democracy Uh, sir in uh, case of uh, democracy is for the people of the people by the people. and by the people yes, sir. and then tell me the globalization is a mixed blessing you can say there is a mixed effect of globalization on women and tribes one especially one focus on these two communities women and tribe how they have been benefited and how it has acted against them the women and the tribes and tribe sir uh, in if we talk about the tribes from the tribal perspective uh, mm-hmm. globalization has ensured that uh, the number of tribal products that are being produced they gain international status mm-hmm. 
but at the same time the problem that comes in is that uh, uh, they need better advertisement better branding is required for the mm-hmm. tribal products mm-hmm. and again another problem that comes in is that the tribal products usually people do not have knowledge because of lack of branding and the prices are very high mm-hmm. because that works against uh, the tribals in general and the middleman takes benefit of the real yes sir mm-hmm. and then sir when it comes to uh, women. women sir uh, there have been a lot of international movements mm. uh, for example me too movement and the feminist campaigns that have been taking place mm. so they have worked towards ensuring uh, the general rights of women are aired True. they are well known mm. uh, we talk about the drawbacks we still know that uh, globalization hasn't quite ensured that all the that at many places there have been instances where the women have worked as powerful in powerful positions as a proxy Uh, there are mm-hmm. other people who enjoy most power and the women have just been uh, pseudo represented in color jobs they are being uh, given say um, what you call uh, receptionist yes sir. or call program operator yes sir or call center executives yes, but not this is and also a feminization of feminization of labor yes sir agreed okay. and uh, what do we see there are double work burden on them they are going out and also at the same time they have to do all household chores yes sir so that's all okay excellent uh, um, mr mohammed uh, we are sorry to uh, stop here for want of time we right. you are based in bonis only yes sir if you are so inclined you are always welcome right. because we we would like to engage you on many other topics sure, just for the pleasure of it sure yeah, man nice meeting you Good. But you are doing well. Hope and so. And that point was wonderful. All right. Thank you. Your flow, your expression is really wonderful. This is a formality. Nothing. All right. Thank you. Sure. Sir. Come, Come again. again. Come again. Come. Sure. Hmm.